So this is a, a somewhat interesting example. Um, they're wanting us to use Thevenin analysis, but they don't really outright say it. What they ask us to do is to use um, source transformation to find the voltage on the 2 ohm resistor. So here's the 2 ohm resistor, and you see they show us these terminals A and B. So what they're really wanting us to do is to use source transformation to find the Thevenin equivalent between A and B, and then come back and use 2 ohms as the load resistor uh, to determine um, what the voltage on that resistor is. So let's look at how this works. So we're going to use source transformation. So we're going to look at this a couple of different ways. So first part is this part here. So we can do a source transformation of that instead of having a voltage source in series with the resistor. Uh, we can transform that. And let's try to do this uh, as neatly as we can here. So now we will have a current source here. And remember, we take the voltage divided by the resistance. So that's going to be uh, 10 over 4 for the current. And then we put that in parallel with this uh, same resistor, which is 4 ohms. So there's that part. So then we come back and we look at this leg here. And so we can now do the same thing. Uh, this time we will have a current source here. This time it's going to be down because the positive side is down. And so that'll be 20 divided by 4. And again, we'll put that in series with the 4 ohm resistor. And then we come over here and we see we have our original terminals, A and B. We'll leave the load resistor out for now. And then we come across again. And this one, this time there's no, no transformation needed. We just have our current source of 2 amps going up. Oh, excuse me. I guess I can keep my color straight, right? So let's do this as just coming over with our original A and B. And we'll stick our load resistor back in between those terminals in a minute. Then we see we have uh, these two guys. Let's use some of our used green. Let's use uh, purple. These two guys, which we can just write those as is, no transformation needed. So again, that being the case, I have a current source going up of two. And then coming down here, a resistance of six. And then finally, we've got the, this leg here in blue. And so we can transform that again. It's going to be another current source. And it'll be going up because the plus sign is up. It'll be 12 over 3, which will be 4. And again, that's going to be in parallel with this 3 ohm resistor. So now uh, we have just a, a parallel network of current sources and resistances. And so we can combine all those. So for the current sources, um, we'll just get us a, an I total, we'll call it. And so that's just going to be summing up all of the current sources. And so to do that, um, the first one is we have the one in green, which is 10 over 4. So we're, we're defining going into the top node or into the top here as positive. And so next we have our uh, 20 over 4. It's coming out of that, so it'll be minus 20 over 4. And then we have our 2, which is entering our node, so it'll be plus 2. And then we have our 4, which again is entering the node, so it's plus 4. And so using... Um, you know, algebraic combination there, mathematics, add those up, and we should get 3.5 amps.
amps. So we have 3.5 amps. Next, we need to do our resistance. So we can do our total resistance here. And when we do that, we see that we just have uh, four resistors in parallel, right? So we can combine that just using the laws for, for combining those. And so that'll be one over four. And then plus one over four, and then that's plus one over six. And again, the colors are corresponding to the resistors up above. And then be plus one over three. And incidentally, when we add this up, we get one over one. And so this is going to be one ohm. So now we can redraw our circuit here. And so we'll have a, a single current source, and it's going to be going up because it's positive in our equation. And so this is 3.5 amps, and it's going to be in parallel with a resistance of uh, 1 ohm. And remember, this goes back to our terminals. And so then we can transform this again back, and when we do, uh, that'll give us a voltage source with the plus sign up, and that's going to be 3.5 volts. That's now going to be in series with this 1 ohm resistor. And so this, in a sense, is our Thevenin equivalent circuit for the, between terminals A and B. And now we can add back our load resistor between these two terminals, connect them here and here, of two ohms. And they said they want to know what the voltage is going to be uh, across that. And so we can determine this a couple of different ways. The way we're going to do it is we'll say there's an I circulating here. And so the I of the current is going to be the voltage over the resistance. And so that's 3.5 volts uh, over 3 ohms. And so when you calculate that out, um, what you should get is 1 and a sixth. And so then our voltage across the 2 ohm resistor Again, Ohm's law, IR, so that'll be 1 and 1 sixth times 2 for the 2 ohms. And that comes out to be 2 and a third volts. 2 and a third volts, or you might say 7 third volts, same thing. So that's the voltage across uh, the 2 ohm resistor, again, using the Thevenin equivalent that we derived uh, using source transformation.